welcome back to Keeping It Real in the Kitchen. I'm Candace Cole and today we are going to try to make eggplant parmesan. I say try to make because, well, this video may never air, but here's what happened. I found this for one dollar. One dollar. One dollar. I saw this, I was at the flea market and I was like, oh, that looks beautiful. I should do something with that. And I know me. If I wait till I have all the ingredients that I need or what I'm supposed to have, I'll never use this. It'll sit on my counter and it will die. So the first thing we're gonna do is peel our eggplant. Make sure you wash it too. I should wash mine first. You don't know who's been touching up on your eggplant, so you're gonna wanna do that. And now we're gonna peel it. Can you peel these with a peeler? I can pet it with a peeler. Oh man, that's very difficult. Once you get it started though, it kind of works. Now we are going to thinly slice this. If you watch my chicken parmesan video, you kind of know what we're going to be doing. Not that, but you kind of know. We're just making eggplant chips right now. I haven't even gone over what you're going to need for this recipe. You're going to need one eggplant because that one was huge. I mean, you can feed a lot of people with that. We're going to use two eggs. We're going to need some all-purpose flour some mozzarella cheese, some polo cheese. You're gonna need some sauce, sauce, not sauce, sauce. I'm gonna be using that Rinaldi garlic and onion, lots of flavor. I'm gonna be using some breadcrumbs. I'm gonna be using Italian seasoning, and I'm gonna be using salt. I'm also, I have this leftover can of um, petite diced tomatoes, garlic, and olive oil. Um, I had this because I just made some um, stuffed tomatoes, so watch that recipe, please. Um, and I'm gonna be throwing this on the bottom, just mixing it in with the sauce, why not? I have it, I don't want it to go to waste because I already opened it. And you're also gonna need some olive oil or oil to cook them and fry them in. All right, let's do this. Flour, egg, breadcrumbs. <laughs> We're gonna crack open these eggs, one, Two, we may need more eggs. That is a lot of eggplant. And we are going to uh, scramble those. We're gonna pour some flour on our first plate because it goes flour, eggs, and breadcrumbs is our last thing that we're gonna do. I just, oh, yep, hmm, I just make messes. And breadcrumbs over there. Italian seasoned breadcrumbs, that's my favorite kind. All right, inside your breadcrumb mixture, you're gonna wanna add a little bit of salt. Same with my Italian seasoning. I'm gonna mix that right up in there. Now, if I had some shredded Parmesan, I hope you do, I would totally put that inside with the breadcrumbs um, because then it's coated on all the sides of your eggplant. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in the flour, flour, egg, and then breadcrumbs. And breadcrumbs. There we go. Our eggplants are all ready to be fried. We're gonna fry them just for about a minute or two on each side. I've heated up my oil because I see a nice uh, like smoke on top of it. That's how I know it's hot enough. And I'm just gonna plop them in there, fry them on each side, and then take them out. All right, let's do it. Awesome. Fry them up. Are all fried up. We're gonna take our glass pan and um, you're gonna put a little sauce down in the bottom. Now, like I said, I have these. Ah! I was just attacked by the tomatoes. Oh my goodness. This shirt is just not gonna make it through today. Attack of the killer tomatoes. Ooh, that brought me back. I don't know if that brought anybody else back, but that brought me back. Uh, like I said before, I had these leftover garlic, olive oil, and uh, crushed tomato. So I'm gonna put that on the bottom of my pan. I think it's gonna be awesome. So I'm just gonna spread that out here. Our next step is to take these eggplants and set them down on top of our layer of the crushed tomatoes. You can overlap them if you want to. You don't have to. You can make layers. If you made a ton of eggplant, you're gonna kind of put this together like you would lasagna. Layer, 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 layer. I am gonna try to fit them all on one layer. So we're gonna overlap these a bit. Excellent. You can see I let my uh, eggplant sit on some paper towels so that way after I fry them, it can get rid of some of that grease. I forgot to add one of our ingredients, ricotta. We're gonna cover this with ricotta cheese. Ricotta, here I come. You're gonna need not this much, but you're gonna need about a cup of ricotta. And we're just gonna cover it, spread it out on there. You could put Parmesan on this layer, you could use 
provolone on this layer. I'm using provolone because that's what I have. I'm gonna break it up and put it all over. Provolone. Provolone, provolone. Now, we are going to top it with a little bit of salt. Salt on there. I know we use salt in our breadcrumb mixture. It always seems to need a little more. You can even add some pepper too. Now we're gonna add our sauce, all of our sauce right on top. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about the mozzarella. Use a flavorful sauce. This really is a flavorful sauce. Garlic and onion, oh my goodness, I love this sauce. We're gonna spread that around on there. And then we are gonna top it with some thin layers of mozzarella. If you have shredded mozzarella, that's fantastic. Use your whole two cups and just put it all around right now. It's a great idea. I don't have the shredded. I have my favorite, my polio. Oh, I think I just sauced my head. Just like that. And we're going, hmm, yeah. I love shredded cheese because it covers everything. But this will cover it too. It's fine. It's thick, but it fits perfect. Is that extra cheese? No. No such thing as extra cheese. No. Now it's gonna cook inside your oven at 350 degrees for 35 minutes. And then we eat. We have some hot, fresh eggplant parmesan. It looks delicious and so delicious at the same time. Let's give it a taste. Let's try some of it. It needs to have everything in one bite. Make sure that eggplant is fully cooked through. Well, I mean, you won't die. It just won't taste as good. It's so hot though. It's on fire. It's a steamy. It's a steamy. Okay. Come on. Oh, caught it. Still really hot. Hmm. Hmm. Burnt me a little. Never got it tasted good though. Perfect. Eggplant is soft. Hmm. That cheese. Oh, the provolone. That provolone is good. I didn't even think. Oh, provolone. A plus. Gold star provolone. This is great. It turned out very yummy and scrumptiousy. Deliciously. Mm -hmm. I had to make sure. I was right the first time. It was good. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you share it with some friends. Watch some old videos and please be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time on Keeping It Real in the Kitchen. The fridge is knocking. Anyone there? Eggplant Parmesan. Eggplant Parmesan who? Okay, stop knocking. Now we're gonna film the ending. And it's done.